because that's not what I taught growing up. Well, we have to believe the Bible, not just what people teach us. But when you start to believe what Bible teaches you, that Jesus took away all of your sin, something begins to happen. When things get hard and difficult, you will still have a feeling that God is against you. And that feeling comes from the fact you grew up religious. It doesn't come from God. It comes from the fact you probably have people around you who have told you that. What do you do with the feeling that God is mad at you when you're facing something troubling yet you know he shouldn't be because he was mad at Jesus for, for my sake. He should be happy with me even if I make a mistake. He should help me, forgive me but how do I feel when I feel that? Uh, I have an example from the Bible that really helps me to personal to deal with this. There was a guy named, in the Bible named Joseph and Joseph was like Jesus because he was betrayed by his brothers. A lot of negative things were done to Joseph and one day his brothers come to Egypt and these brothers uh, they come to Egypt and because they did something really bad to Joseph they constantly live with a sense of guilt and shame. Just ah, we should have not done it to, done it to brother and something happened. Um, their brother begins to mistreat them on purpose. It begins to create a very difficult situation for them and as they are it's kind of troubled a little bit they huddle up together and they say oh, I knew we should have never done this to Joseph. We should have never done it to Joseph because God now is punishing us. We are being punished for what we did to our brother. Not knowing in the other room Joseph is sobbing. They are thinking God is punishing us for what we did to our brother. We deserve these hardships. This very man Joseph who's creating these hardships for them in the other room is sobbing out of his deep love for them. He wasn't trying to make their life difficult and he wasn't even trying to teach them a lesson. He actually loved them so much that when he saw his younger brother, the Bible says he couldn't stand in their presence, get to get a private room to cry. He wasn't mad. He didn't have to leave so he can see the anger. He had to leave so he could relieve the love so they won't see it. And all of this time they thought he's mad at us. Not knowing. Madly in love. Yes. Not mad. Your feelings are true but they are not truth. Your feelings that God is so far away. Your feelings that oh he might not be for me because look I just got an accident. I just got pulled over. I got a ticket. Look I was taking this test and I couldn't pass it. Look the challenges are with my parents right now. It seems like we are not coming to mutual understanding. Look I'm just on such a heavy stress and load in school. Things are so hard at my work right now. God just might not be on my side. That is your feelings. They might be true but remember your feelings are not the truth. Job felt like God was against him. At the very same time when God gathered hell and demons and the devil and he bragged about Job. And Job's thinking God is so against me. God is so against me. And God in heaven throws a bragging party for Job. Your feelings are not the best indication of how God feels about you. Period. It's what he says and what he thinks and it's what he feels. It's not what you feel about God. Can somebody say amen? And once some of you will get married, you will know this to be true. Because one thing about being married, a benefit of being married to, to a female is many times you will discover how true and real their feelings are. And how those feelings can also be very wrong. Your feelings can be very strong and very real and at the same time very wrong and if you can be okay with that you will know one thing I'm feeling down I'm feeling like God is letting me down but I know he's on my side I know in whom I have believed I know my Redeemer lives can somebody say amen I just want to encourage you tonight to let you know God is for you because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, He is on your side. And if He's on your side, any sickness you're facing, any disappointment you're facing, with God, you can overcome. 
even if God forbid certain things don't happen maybe certain things don't turn around you know what turned around you gained somebody on your side it's one thing to fight the devil it's another thing when you think you're fighting God when you're not sure of God is on your side you don't need to go to someone you need to go to the Bible take the verses where God said I condemn you not sink in them so deeply until faith arises inside of you at the